Hello everyone! In this series of videos, we will be exploring the origins of certain monsters, the different variations they received over the years, and how their movesets and attacks have evolved throughout each game. Remember to like and subscribe for more! Xenoga is a fanged wyvern introduced in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, being the flagship monster of that game. He is the first fanged wyvern in the entire series, and thus has many unique attacks at his disposal. He can headbutt you, knocking you away. He can twist to the side and launch himself at you, an attack known as the hip check. Xenoga can use his tail in a couple of attacks. He can backflip, and he can swing it around while spinning in the air. Zenoga also makes use of his paws when attacking, slamming them down on you in quick succession, and sometimes he will rear back and slam them both forwards. Zenoga has thunder element powers, granted to him by small insects called Folgerbugs. They charge him up, and he provides protection for them. Due to these Folgerbugs, Zenoga has several thunder based attacks, one of these being a projectile he can launch, which curves towards you. Zenoga's main gimmick is the ability to charge himself up over time with the help of these vulgar bugs. While charging, Zenoga stays still, giving you the opportunity to attack and hopefully interrupt him. If he's interrupted, he will either attack you or immediately go back to charging, where you can try and stop him again. However, as much as you try to stop him from charging, he will inevitably reach maximum charge. When that happens, several aspects of Zenoga change. Spikes on his back shoot up, his fur starts glowing along with other parts of his body, his claws stick out and his moveset changes. His existing attacks are altered, his paw slams now deal thunder to the hunter and he will sometimes perform a third slam. He will shoot his lightning projectiles twice now, he will also combo attacks together. Zenoga can only become enraged when he's charged, but when he does he becomes even stronger. Aside from his attacks hitting harder, he will also always perform 3 paw slams and gains new attacks. He will now dive at the hunter and he can chain this with another dive. He also gains a jump attack where he lands on his back, dealing heavy damage and thunder to anyone in close vicinity. If you knock him down when enraged, upon getting up, he will immediately perform a tail swing jump. One last addition is his ability to perform an attack where he summons the Volga Bugs, creating lightning bolts around him before unleashing it in close vicinity, known as the Thunder Call. Zenoga can be knocked out of his charge state, which will also knock him out of his rage state, and this is done randomly when flinching or knocking him down. From there he has to recharge from scratch, but if he's exhausted he can't charge. When fully charged, Zenoga is immune to shock traps. Placing one down when he isn't charged will immobilise him, but I wouldn't advise doing this because he starts eating it and ends up charging himself up with it. One unique thing about Zenoga, at least until world, is that he can turn around to face you instantly. Every other monster turns in 60 degree angles to face you, which gives you opportunities to heal, sharpen or even attack. But because Zenoga turns so fast, it makes him a bit more dangerous and always keeps you on edge. Zenoga appears in the next installment, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. The fight is almost identical to the Portable 3rd version, with some differences. For one, Zenoga looks a lot better, having a much more detailed model. When fully charged and enraged, he will combo his attacks together slightly more fluidly. Zenoga gains a subspecies in this game, one that formed a relationship with a different type of bug. Meet Stygian Zenoga. This is a Zenoga who lives in harsh environments like the tundra or the volcano. While Zenoga uses Thunder Element, Stygian uses Dragon, and as a result his attacks have different properties. Most notably his variation of the lightning projectiles. Stygian fires Dragon Balls, but they don't zoom in an arc, they stay in place before homing in on you after a short time, meaning you have to keep an eye on them to ensure you dodge at the right moment. Stygian will sometimes calmly strut around, summoning Dragon Bolts. This is one of the ways he charges himself up which means interrupting him is much harder. He also has different combo paths. Both Zenoga and Stygian return for Monster Hunter 4. In this game, Zenoga gains a slight rework. I mentioned how Zenoga would sort of chain his axe together in Portable 3rd and 3 Ultimate, but in this game, he fully combos them. His headbutt is now a combo opener. It knocks you onto the ground and Zenoga immediately prepares for his next attack. 
If you don't roll out fast enough, you will be hit by a poor slam combo or a tail flip. His poor slams gain a slight buff where sometimes he will delay the second slam to charge it with more thunder. He can do this even if he isn't fully charged. This throws off your timing when dodging and forces you to be a bit more aware of what he's going to do. When Zenogo charges up a second poor slam, he will never follow up with a third. Stygian also has the new combos, and sometimes he will take different combo routes such as immediately backflipping after a dive. Stygian also performs a tailspin jump after a backslam when enraged. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate features Apex Zenogo. Is Zenogo strong enough to overcome the Frenzy virus? This Zenogo has extremely tough body parts and is much faster than any other Zenogo. One major difference is the lightning balls he sends out. Apexes are bright red and act much more like Stygians, slowly homing in on the player and stunning them upon impact. Zenogo reappears in Monster Hunter Generations, this time without Stygian. However, he has a new variation in this game, the Deviant Thunderlord Zenogo. Thunderlord is drastically different from regular Zenogo. He is bright green and yellow, and one of his horns is overgrown. He also has an extra claw on each of his paws. Thunderlord is permanently charged, which means that aside from pretty much every attack inflicting Thunderbite on you, he can become enraged whenever he wants, which makes him much more dangerous than regular Zenogo. His lightning projectiles arc in a different direction, so they end up on the ground, and upon impact they remain there for a short time, acting as obstacles for the hunter. He has access to Stygian Zenogo's combo paths, but also some completely new ones. Here he is extending his poor slam combo, performing the entire thing twice in a row seamlessly. He can also enter a new ultra charge state, which makes him even more dangerous. His poor slams now cause lightning to strike down in the direction he slammed them in, posing danger to hunters out of his reach. Sometimes he will begin with a poor slam, only to backflip, hitting the hunter with the underside of his tail, and then jumping with another attack, and he will even do this as part of his poor slam combos too. His lightning balls go even further, and his thunder core attack has an extremely wide range and is stronger than ever, but it does make him lose the ultra charge state. Zenogo skipped world but appeared in Iceborne. He received a slight redesign in this game. Not only is he much bigger, his fur is shorter, and his body proportions have been altered. He also has a brand new roar and other sound effects. Zenogo's uncharged moveset is pretty similar to his fall version, where he will try and charge himself up, often trying to combo you in between. He has a new attack where he spins in place, swinging his tail around. The biggest differences relate to his charged and enraged state. In Iceborne, Zenogo can become enraged even when uncharged, which is most likely a change made to prevent clutch claw abuse. When Zenogo is fully charged or enters his rage state, he will flip backwards before roaring, and this time all his roars require earplugs to block. Zenogo has some new combos when charged. He will often dive at you, combo immediately into a hip check, and when enraged, he will combo that into a tailspin jump. He receives a new attack where he scrapes the floor and leaps up into the air landing on a random party member. He does this twice in quick succession. Zenogo still has his poor slams, but if he flinch in while enraged, he has a random chance to counter with another poor slam combo that can also lead into other combos. As well as his plastic lightning projectiles, he can also have them rotate around him, creating hazards for hunters trying to get close to him. Stig and Zenogo made his return in the second title update. He gains many of Zenogo's changes but also keeps his own classic elements such as summoning Dragon Bolts while charging or the alternate combo parts. When charged up, several of his attacks leave Dragon Bolts behind. His Dragon Ball projectiles have changed slightly, since they now move forward and summon Bolts, rather than home in on the player like they used to. Stygian can initiate a combo where he roars, summons rotating Dragon Balls that summon Bolts, scrapes the ground and leaps at you twice before dashing at you while twisting through the air. Each attack leaves its own Dragon Bolts behind. When enraged, he gains a new combo opener, an attack where he spins in place. From there, he can initiate his back slam, where upon getting back on his feet he does a tailspin, or skip the previous attack and do a tailspin jump anyway. Zenogo appears in Monster Hunter Rise, without stitching. His Rise design looks more like his full ultimate form, with a smaller body structure and a longer fur. He also gets his old sound effects back. In terms of fighting, he fights like his full ultimate form too, attacking before initiating charges. Lightning particles appear whenever Zenogo is about to start charging. The new telegraph is very important in this game because very often, 
Zenoko will start charging out of combos, or even interrupt his combos with charging before continuing them, which makes him much more unpredictable. When fully charged, he lacks some of the crazy attacks Iceborne Zenoka has like the ground scrape jump or the rotating lightning balls, but he does gain some new ones of his own. If you're far away, he will summon lightning that strikes in a row towards you. He has a brand new lightning uppercut that he will sometimes use after a force slam, usually telegraphed by the previous attack letting a bunch of lightning particles loose. Zenoka can also perform a charged force slam after a hip check. In Rise, Zenoga receives a brand new variation, Apex Zenoga. No, 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 not that Apex Zenoga. This Apex Zenoga. And no, it's not Thunderlord either, despite a similar coloration. Apex Zenoga is a special variant that survived the storm created by Wind Serpent Ibushi and became stronger as a result of it. Moveset-wise, he bears similarity to Thunderlord. When you encounter him, he is already charged up. He can also perform Thunderlord's backflip and his lightning balls also act like Thunderlords. Like other Zenoga variations, he also has his own combo paths. After performing a headbutt, he can follow up with a charged paw slam. Apex Zenoga also possesses variations of existing Zenoga attacks. His lightning uppercut now sends rows of thunder striking out in a fork. Several other of his attacks also send out lightning bolts. When enraged, he gains new combos. He can now follow up a lightning uppercut with a charged paw slam. After performing a backflip, he can delay his landing with a slam attack, or sometimes he'll perform a landing backslam instead. He also has a particularly annoying attack, where he creates lightning explosions and attacks twice in quick succession. Apex Zenoka is one of the strongest monsters in the game, but luckily, unlike Thunderlord Zenoka, he can be knocked out of his charge state. My favourite Zenoga is probably 4 Ultimates. The flow of the fight is really nice and fast paced, and this is the game he found his identity in as a combo monster. I also really like Iceborne Zenoga, Rai Zenoga, and Iceborne's Digion. They're all super fun, and I love seeing the crazy stuff the Iceborne versions come up with. Rai Zenoga would probably be my absolute favourite, but right now he needs to be just a bit harder. Hopefully Sunbreak will fix that problem. Which Zenoga is your favourite and why? Let me know in the comments. That was the evolution of Zenoga throughout the Monster Hunter series. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos too. Have a good day.